Hello there, I'm Laura Cheadle, and I wanted to read to you today, I wanted to read to you a story that is going to help you stop feeling burned out. One of the symptoms of burnout is feeling like you have no control, like you have no agency, that no matter what you do, nothing is going to change. And that's what this story is designed to do. It's designed to put you back into your power so you are inspired, first of all, that's an important piece of it, but then that you also know what to do to give you your power back. So let me tell you the story. Yes, it is from my book, Flaunt, Drop Your Cover and Reveal Your Smart, Sexy and Spiritual Self. And it starts with a little bit of Shakespeare. All the world's a stage, all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man <clears throat> or woman in his or her time plays many parts. If, as Shakespeare so aptly pointed out, all the world's a stage and each of us are merely players playing our part until we fade away into oblivion, the question inevitably becomes, who is choreographing your life? A choreographer is the person who composes the sequence of events or moves in a dance or play leading to a meaningful, cohesive, and purposeful performance. While it is sometimes appropriate to allow others to choreograph your life, it is also all too easy to forget that the primary choreographer is you. And when you do forget that the primary choreographer is you, that's when that burnout that disconnection, that overwhelm starts taking place. So here's what to do about it. Can you see how we are all merely players playing our many parts over several ages? Shakespeare was pretty darned insightful on that one, wasn't he? No wonder we're still studying his works. You are a player in the story of your life, and it is up to you to play each role exactly as you like it. <laughs> Giggle. Finding your inner burlesque star. I like to say that your inner burlesque star is that version of yourself who has never been hurt, who has never tried to please or conform or to perform up to somebody else's standards, and who is just comfortably revealing themselves as they most authentically are. So find your inner burlesque star. Connect with your heart and embrace every version of you that has ever been. Trust in your truth and reveal your core essence for all the world to see. After all, you are the artistic director of your own life, and you have only one opportunity to write a script that suits you. You have one opportunity to be the star of your own life. Act one is the past. It's over. Accept the lessons, integrate the stories, recognize it for what it was, and release what no longer serves you. Act two is the present. It's here right now. Reveal yourself in the ever-changing, ever-present moment. Stay awake. Take center stage and choose love. Find your fetish. Laugh out loud. Accept unconditionally, and when you do, you begin to write your future. Act three is your future. As you re-choreograph your future and choose the path that determines what the rest of your life will be like, always remember that you'll need to navigate the negative and trust in your truth along the way. The play is over. The curtain has come down and the audience is on their feet cheering. It's time for the curtain call, where all the actors come out on stage and receive adulation and admiration from the audience. This was the play of your life. What story did you create? Were you the lead, the star of your own life? And did you act like it or not? How did you do? And are you satisfied with what you created? What is your legacy? There is no room for regret or for politely waiting in the wings, hoping someone will turn the spotlight on you because they won't. Step into your own spotlight and take the leading role in your own best scenes. 
When life is not going the way that you'd like it to, when you're exhausted and burned out, you have the ability to begin again, to rewrite and re-choreograph your life exactly as you see fit. Remember, this is your life, not your kids, not your partners, not your parents, your friends, or your employers. It's yours. Wear what you want to wear. Spread glitter all around. Laugh at the irony. Poke fun at yourself. Play with the audience. And in the spirit of being an inner burlesque star, remember the titillating power of the tease. But above all, strip down and proudly reveal all that you are so you can be seen and known and accepted and loved for you. All women, all of us, deserve to be seen for who we are, not for what we do. All women deserve to feel the freedom and joy of standing in their naked self-worth and knowing that who they are is more than enough. I believe that the five steps of flaunt are what will get you there. Find your fetish, laugh out loud, accept unconditionally, navigate the negative, trust in your truth, and don't forget to flaunt. Again, that's from my book, Flaunt. Drop your cover and reveal your smart, sexy, spiritual self. And those five steps truly are what will help you start feeling better so you're not constantly managing burnout and overwhelm and disappointment and exhaustion so you can come to life again and start living and feeling the way that you would like. If you'd like help, reach out and I will help you with any of those steps or with all of them, lauracheadle.com or go to burnoutorbetrayal.com and download the top three ways that we betray ourselves every day and what to do about it. Have a good day.